Don't just immediately follow the ball. Hold your position. Heron. That's a two for Mustafa. Chom the miss. Fights for the rebound. And now Shimori Pods. A solid first half. Eight points, two assists. Here's Heron from the wing for three. Omaruyi. Yeah, that his first two years at Rutgers did not hit one single three. It was all of 16. But if you get the ball and you don't, you're going to get called. There's Shimori Pons. Around Baker. Extra pass. Heron for three. Terrific passing by St. John's, and Heron buries the three. Because I don't know how you match up with him. You almost you have to play zone or switch everything. What are you? Follows his own opportunity to see that again. I was talking about nonsense when this happened. Goodness gracious. A mild flex. So many weapons. Wow. So many weapons with the St. John's team, specifically with their guards. And over 23 games. About 450 to go in the half. And then. St. John's finished the first half in a 14-4 run and has kept the pressure on. It was Figueroa. Three assists. Clark, a big second half. Aaron, a huge second half. Aaron off the fake. Over Chop. Well, 12 points on one of three from three tonight. Well, he came in the definition of raw. He had a physical presence and a body, but struggle to really get the game yourself in stride and rhythm and get your better leap for the shot 14 to run is Heron the one-hand sledgehammer yeah, I think there's gonna be a restricted area call here here's the drive yeah that's an easy call because the defender has never vacated has not released from this center exploit some of the mismatches that they have with size the kick out. Heron for three. Yes! Not allowing you to run your sets. Powell on Pons. There's the kick out again. Heron got it again. And the lead is seven. We played nearly nine minutes here in the first half. Again, 2 3 zone has bothered St. John. Heron. Not there, but it's bothering Steal, and Pond steals it right back. Heron, the corner three. Yes! Mustafa Heron. And that, folks, is for the Red Storm. Two minutes until the half. St. John's has led the entire way. I like the way Pond's with the high screens. They're looking to get him, you know, off the snide, so to speak. But he's not forcing anything. And neither is that guy. Intercepted by Figueroa, and what a save. This Pons. is where at their best. Oh, look out! Heron flying through. 42-41, St. John's. Bird, when Georgetown gets the ball, uh, they'll well, finish in a minute. Heron <laughs> on a... He's not matched up this time. Let's see, he's on Figueroa. Hans leaves it. Corner. Heron. Tell you what. Explosive in the open floor. Coming at you with numbers. Georgetown. 82 77 130 to go Heron takes the baseline and the layup goes and attack Heron the spin and layup goes right at the chest that's Patrick wind down in Washington uh, Patrick says this guy just plays hard attacks down against Notre Dame they jumped out 17 2 they shot over 50 percent from the three in that game against Mike Bray's team they're a streaky shooting team but they can shoot it out there they're not a great shoot nice cut Mustafa Heron throws it down great special he can score a multitude of ways he can score on the drive to the goal on the offensive rebound on the free throw line shooting the three he's just got that scoring ability Heron hits a three came from Auburn was a big time player to Auburn. the last four games he is really playing well he's averaging 18 point three Mori Pons three, three on two for St. John's Heron throws it down that's they're at their best when they can the double win. team forces Pons to give it up yeah they're going to double it and try to get the ball out of his hands obviously Aaron, along two. This one's good. Well, Team McNeil, only a sophomore. Nice shot fake by Heron. Connects. 
He's money. He is a professional scorer, Bob. He's got the deep range, the one dribble pull up, goes to the rim, can pose the garden to watch those teams play. Now, Chris was a great player. How about the swoop by Heron? Yeah, he's going to be fun, Bob. He really is. Simon, bullet pass great. underneath to Heron. That's great. He is a terrific. Heron get behind the defense and. Mustafa Heron can get 20 in, in his sleep. He just knows how to score. I did not expect this. Heron leans in and scores. And that's what we mean by professional score. Game, they would have rather had Jalen Brunson get 31 instead of <laughs> instead of Dante. They knew they were losing him anyway. There you oh, go. the spin cycle by Mustafa Heron and a chance for a three-point play. Terrific move right here. We talk about it. He finds multiple ways to get that ball in the basket. That time the spin move, not a lot of contact right there. It looked like the defender was vertical, but he gets a chance to make this a three-point play. This young man was second team all SEC. He transferred this summer to St. John's. He got the uh, the NCAA hardship waiver because of a uh, so area to Atlanta, Georgia. Here's Ponds. Clark out to Mustafa Heron and the transfer from Auburn. Heron offensive rebound. That is a man's move by Heron. Here's Pons with the ball. Good move. Shot fake. Heron Good got shot. it off the window. That's the way to think. Okay, we have to know where Wellage is. Heron along the baseline. Good finish by Mustafa. Heron. Good in for three. That comes up short. The rebound for Pons. Yeah, he just has his mind made up. It's just not a good shot. Heron hanging. That's a nice shot right there by Mustafa. Heron. It's up on the arm. Pons, a good outlet. Mustafa Heron, the European Woo! step through for the finger. Ponds recognizing teammates up ahead. And they might have gotten some contact there, but I love the concentration. Probably thought they'd be playing on Wednesday. Now you get a chance another day. The three. Nice little open middle to, to cut and kick. That touch pass was beautiful. Mustafa Hare on the transfer. And they've got good team size. That is why you're very jealous. <laughs> How about this? Stretch into the jealous of the Four rebounds already for Sam Hauser. <laughs> Aaron left open for three. And you can see Theo John didn't want to come on the rim and then die on the rim, even though it kicks off just softly to the right. 8-3. The ball is on top. Look at the battle underneath. And the fans crowd's getting into the game, starting to force some turnovers. Alujabi leads DePaul with six. St. John has gotten six from Figaro. Statistics and Statistic Lee has to do without Pons being on the floor because they're making adjustments. They're used to seeing Pons with the ball quite a bit and setting the table. Now it's somebody else who has to do it. Heron's jumper is good. Plenty of time. And Heron realizes that. Yeah, they have to go now. Yep, seven on the shot clock. Heron, three-pointer is good. Game plan has worked. I for think it's extraordinary the way they've executed their game plan. Heron lays it in. Heron. The Golden Eagles. Hey, that's what you do. Here's Clark. The kick out. Heron. Open three. Yes. Inside out. Heron drives the baseline. Oh. Misses the three. All five Red Storm starters are in Dallas. has yet to take a shot. We're over four minutes gone by. Heron. That's where they struggle a little bit. Butler, when you get them late in that clock, what are they going to run? Who can go get it? Come on, Baller can. That's good defense by Aaron. St. John. Oh, that's a strong Aaron. iso. Get something going to the basket. You have a wide open three, take that. Aaron steps back for an open three. From Lisa Byington. Lisa? Yeah, Tim, it wasn't just what he said. It's how he acted. Remember, he talked about how his team needed to change its demeanor, and so he stepped into the huddle for the first five to six. Simon 
count it. Randall's on that train. Aaron from the corner. I mean, Aaron, like I said, 35% from three. The other way. Aaron driving. Gathers himself and lays it up strong. Got in the air and changed his mind. Turns it over. Aaron right to the hook. So it takes him to push it. Figueroa with the steal. Aaron striding. Euro stepping and laying it in. And just like that. Process out of the shot. Gus pitch. Fired. Let it go. Aaron. He answers. Both these teams. Loose. Figueroa. The other way. Baseline. Heron lets it fly. Got it. Remember, St. John's is out of timeouts. Heron. He's been hot and continues to be hot. That's a two point field goal. And a great utilization of that. Comes out with it. Heron down the lane off the glass. And it. If you're the Redstone, you have to defend the arc. Not a good sign to give an open look to Alexander Early. Boy, they talked about it in the shoot around today. At all costs, defend the three. Is really good looks from beyond the arc early. That's a troubling sign for St. John. Heron hits a three pointer as well. Off the inbounds. But not many baskets will be bigger than that three to help this team get a little momentum going. Heron with the right hand. The Johnnies were 15-point winners over Creighton just a couple of weeks ago in New York. Wow! It's short. Figueroa comes away with it. Figueroa to Heron in the corner. Step back three. To cough it up. Heron for three. He's good. And they missed it. Saturday in a row. And it's a 7 0 run for the Bulldogs. Heron ends the run with the finger roll. And now they're in a 2 3 zone. Heron right at the rim and stole Figueroa. <laughs> and this is in a ladder for that one. Kareem wouldn't have caught that. Heron <laughs> is man slipped. Heron baseline reverse is good. Mustafa Heron. A rare miss there by McDermott when left open. Heron all the way and in two more. And the rebound to Kata. I like that kid. I think he's a good play, but I think he shoots a lot. Heron quickly the other way for two. Out the way. Got it inside against Pascal. He's strong in there too. The Auburn transfer, sweeping through the lane and dropping it in. There you go, put it to his hands. Nice hot fake to get the defender to fly by and then he finished. Yeah, you know it's bad if we can see it from a pass goal. We both average more than 20 a game in conference, both only five points. And Cremo with 70% of his shots that he takes are three-point shots. Mustafa Heron uses the glass. Rising over Kata. Can't hit the three. The matchup they wanted. Couldn't take advantage. Yep. Good board by Simon. Good Here's shot. Heron. Got it. Different ball game, Joe. On one shot. See what he does with it. The left heel out front. Heron, clean look. Got it. This game is tied for the first time. Continues. Finally, they get in the middle of the floor. There's Heron. Tough shooting day for him. Stays with it, though. And he'll have a chance for him to take the time to convert. And it's a four-point game. Heron from the top of the key. And it's a one-point game. One before was a mishandle, and that one just a step in and flick and go. Steph Smith with ten points. And let me tell you, a double-digit score is hard to find in this game. Heron first. Working it around top to figure out. <laughs> In the corner of the three for Mustafa Heron. He's got this magnetic connection to Marcus Howard, and he should. Howard with eight first half points. He must be already by Alford and uh, Steve Alford and some of these other guys. Heron will try again. And he'll hit again. He knew it was good. Here's Figueroa. Pushes up a wild three. Didn't hit the rim, so the shot clock's still winding down, and Heron hits that one. Yeah, they have to find him a little bit. Heron on the handoff to Williams. 
Back it goes to Heron. He's feeling it, and he hits again. Mustafa Heron with 12. He's four for six. As you can see here before we go to the under-16 timeout, which St. John's can do. Heron, pretty good guy to lean on as he hits the two. Marquette on a 7-0 run after St. John's cut it to two and floats that one over for an offensive rebound to Champagne. 15 to shoot for St. John's. Aaron off the curl, running into the paint, and that one drops. Crowd thought he took an extra shot. That's his first three. This is a good, good sign for the call the way Moore's playing. Or trying to chase around Nick Rutherford on the defensive end. Heron gets a step, goes around on the bench for a long while. A little collision there. Play continues. Open look for Heron. Pulling the ball back with an deuce. Heron catch and shoot from the ball. Catch that post entry pass. Here's Heron catch and shoot from the wing. You have a fresh attitude, but. <laughs> Finding your spot, what you can do, play within the system. Aaron jacks it up. And seven is back on the floor for the Hoyas. Tied at 14. Rutherford not looking to shoot initially. Kick. Heron. Book it. Well, they need him. This is refreshing. Georgetown team that's playing with only seven scholarship players. Jumper goes for Heron. That's one down. Adjustments made by Patrick Ewing. Heron. <laughs> Charlie Moore in your lineup if you're Dave Lado, huh? the transfer from Kansas. Immediately eligible. Heron. And it, yeah, I've been waiting. Has it rejected? Good defense by Josh Roberts. Figueroa. And around the horn it goes for Mustafa Heron. Yeah, Frustrated Dave Lado. His DePaul Blue Demons. One of six from the floor here in the first in the uh, second half. Two of six from the free throw line and three turnovers. Has a, been a great start for DePaul. Heron. Right now the Blue Demons got to take care of business on the defensive end as Heron rises for three and hits it. Instead of butts out as a forward, or in as the center, you could be up just a little more length. Aaron, Nolan Richardson before those two went on to great fame at Arkansas. Yeah, they'll get a little better as the season goes on, but I can guarantee in three years or so, St. Uh, John's will be much better. Mustafa Heron, the senior from Waterbury, Connecticut. Affecting the shot for the second time. You worked the Butler game the other night, wrote and hit that shot at the end of the game. It was big with the shot clock winding down. Aaron, uh, he rattles at home just as we talked about. They report early too, don't they? <laughs> they do. They really do. And then seven minutes in, <laughs> what scouting report? <laughs> They're into the flow of the game. Yeah, exactly. Mustafa uh, Heron, yeah. he is a cool hand loop in every respect. Terrible. We're tied at 56, so the Hall have erased a 13-point deficit in less than 10 minutes. Harold Miles Kale, the junior from Wheeler High School in Fort Pierce, Florida. You can't give up easy ones in a game like this. You give those up in a 20-point game, maybe, but not in a three-point game. Harold wow. and he got it over Gill. Look out. Heron makes it happen, taking it all the way in. Hey now! At this stage of the season, he's got to be pleased with that. And now you say, as you say, Dave, the response to this onslaught by St. John. Back on the floor, and now just with two fouls, can, can play more free. Josh Roberts only played five and a half minutes as well for St. John's. Heron. Just outside the free throw line and right on cue. Yeah, satisfied with just taking the outer layer. Like Shrek. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Layers. Ooh, Heron is fouled and a chance for a four-point play for Mustafa Heron. And already his impact is felt. Knocks down a mid-range jump shot. Comes back. Team's best three-point shooter. Gotta and understand your spacing. Heron off the bounce on the wing. Well, it's two threes in the first three and a half minutes for Scruggs here in the second half. He's got eight. St. John's has to get something going north to south. There's too much east to west, sideline to sideline. You got to put that ball on the floor. Good call by Heron. Also playing without 
Davion Mintz, a terrific guard who would be seeing a lot of time. Heron launches a three. Heron. Oh, that's another hit. 10 of 27 in the game. Shot clock's running down. Got to get something going. Done. Champ Penny to the corner. That is a terrific <laughs> decision by Julian 